Welcome to a quick little video that is a coding vlog documenting my series as a solo developer that's building out his own SaaS product. And since it is the weekend, I'm gonna be spending it building out my side project, my SaaS project, which is called Monty, monty.ai if you wanna check it out. And essentially the feature that I'm gonna be working on today for both my mobile application as well as my web application, because Monty is a cross-platform application, is improving the onboarding flow. So let me show you what the current onboarding flow is. So this is the onboarding flow first screen uh, and then right now we're just demonstrating what exactly we do we ought to help you automate your job in corporate america so then we go we state the problem then from there we go to the features first one is an ai meeting recording tool which uses your mobile phone to record meetings transcribes them summarizes them and then you can chat with the transcript to get any info that you want Next up is a chat PDF tool. Pretty common feature in the AI space right now. Just upload a document, you can chat with it to get any insights that you, that you want. Read at the speed of AI is what we like to call it. Last but not least is our third feature, which is called the meeting co-pilot feature. And essentially what the meeting co-pilot feature is, is it is a feature that listens in on meetings live, transcribes them, detects any questions, and then it'll answer those questions using whatever knowledge base you upload into it. So it'll make sure that whenever there's a meeting going on, you always have an answer to every question and you're not blindsided and looking dumb in a meeting. Just trying to make your life a little bit easier working in corporate America. So that is the onboarding flow that we're currently working with. The, the onboarding process of any mobile app or web application, I think is so important because that's where you build trust with your user, where you have to sell them on the feature really tell them what kind of problem your tool solves. And I think the static images, it just doesn't do the greatest job of doing that. So I want to update all the static images with video instead. So that's gonna be the feature that I'm gonna be working on for both my mobile application as well as the web application since it is a cross-platform app. And I'm just gonna take you on a quick little journey through how I do that. But enough yapping on my end, let me get into a quick little work session and show you the final product. Now I know some of you that are watching this might be a little confused because you're like, wait a minute, I thought this was a coding vlog, why am I watching a video of a guy not coding and instead just creating a video feature demo onto his website and to his mobile app? Well, the thing is that's kind of one of the responsibilities that I have as a solo developer once again, not a solo founder because I do have a co-founder, but as a solo developer and as a sole person building out the product himself, I kind of have to do everything regarding the product that includes engineering, plus design, plus infrastructure, plus creative video creation work to improve the onboarding flow. I don't really have anyone that I can punt the work off to someone else to. We don't hire any freelancers. Uh, we don't have a big team. It's literally just myself and my co-founder. It's just the two of us. So we kind of have to do everything that we possibly can and sure we could pay for freelancers, but we want to keep this as lean as possible. And honestly, just over the years of building a ton of different products, I think this is like the 13th product that I've built over the past three and a half years. I picked up a lot of different skill sets. I'm not the best designer, but I'm an okay designer. I'm not the best video creator, but I'm an okay video creator. And that's been really helpful in terms of becoming more of a jack of all trades instead of just being a sole engineer. I have a lot more skills, so I can do a lot more things in-house without having to hire help. Helps to stay lean helps us stay efficient and it also helps us to move a lot faster because we're not reliant on a third party person it's just myself and my co-founder and we own everything about the entire product and it helps us to move super super fast which i think is the biggest advantage that you can have as a solo founder or solo developer or a founder with a super small team you can always outpace outmaneuver outship the other bigger competitors in your space all right so i just finished up the new video demos of the onboarding page so let me show you what it looks like so this page nothing has changed this page nothing has changed as well by the way this video is completely AI generated super useful for creating onboarding flows next up here is the first video you know the new AI meeting recorder record meetings with your phone upload the recording to Monty and then blah 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 uh, that looks pretty good to me here is the one for the chat PDF tool um, same thing pretty smooth video and this is the one for the meeting co-pilot feature. So as you can see with these video feature demos, instead of just a static images, it more clearly shows what the feature is. And in my case, I think it does help to convince the user to see the value of what this product is going to add. One of the most common questions that I get asked in any video that I make is how do I make these type of screen recordings with all these smooth animations? And it's actually the same software I'm using to create this this video right here where I'm like streaming my face and recording my screen and that piece of software is called screen.studio 
easily one of the best purchases I've ever made as a solo developer, indie hacker, whatever you want to call it. It's just the best software out there in terms of creating really, really beautiful animations and screen recordings. So highly recommend Screen Studio. I bought it out of pocket. I paid the pay once 230 bucks. Totally, totally worth it. Now, another question that I get asked is, in terms of how exactly I made this entire video of, you know, the orange background, the text and everything. I honestly just use Canva. I use Canva for everything, my social media posts, my uh, thumbnails, you name it. And these are the videos that I make as well. Uh, this is the raw footage of the video that I created with the AI recording uh, feature demo. And that's how I do it. Screen Studio and Canva. Very, very straightforward. But. That's about it in terms of today's video. Thanks for hopping in in this really quick little coding vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more of it. I don't know if I like the style or not. I don't know if you like the style or not. Only way for me to know is if you tell me in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.